Sup guys, Heeking here, bringing you a live reaction to the Resident Evil October 2022 Showcase. So before I get started, well technically it's starting right now, remember to like and subscribe. Now I'm watching this not live because I already missed the event by pretty much nearly, nearly I'd say two hours. Yeah, Brad, blimey man. Uh, Nearly two hours, yeah. So I just got back from work, had my dinner, and uh, got bit by my cat. Thank you very much, Loki, for biting my freaking uh, thumb, thumb, or off nearly there. But yeah, we're just gonna go right through this. Uh, I'm not gonna wait 12 minutes for this to start when I've already downloaded the video and I wanna watch it. So yeah, and yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just curious what they're gonna reveal. I mean, uh, obviously we're gonna get a trailer for Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 8, we're going to get some more stuff, uh, which I don't, to be honest, at this point, I don't really care now anymore. Like, I'm looking forward to playing it, don't get me wrong, I've got it pre-ordered, I'm looking forward to it, but I don't care about the, uh, you know, the, I mean, at this point, I just want to see some Resident Evil 4 footage, some Resident Evil 4 remake footage. Uh, in terms of what I hope is revealed afterwards, when I got home, I didn't really check what they revealed, do you know what I mean? So, at this point, it's all going to be a surprise for me. I'm hoping maybe they give, they, they tease Cold Veronica remake. Uh, the Outbreak game remake, apparently, that we were supposed to be getting, that was sort of leaked in the uh, Nevada list that we haven't heard of. Outrage, whatever that is, if it hasn't been cancelled already. Uh, Revelations 3, if it is Outrage or Revelations 3, do you know what I mean, etc, etc. Uh, it, it, one of those, do you know what I mean, if, if, I, if I had to get like some sort of tease, it would be one of those. Maybe Resident Evil 9 as a tease. Realistically, though, I'm thinking we're going to get a tease to Infinite Darkness Season 2, which I couldn't give two craps about because that first season was terrible. Uh, and may maybe a confirmation to a sequel to Raccoon City, um, Welcome to Raccoon City, uh, with, with an adaptation of Cold Veronica, maybe, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be kind of cool if they revealed a Cold Veronica remake and a movie adaptation at the same time, sort of killing two birds with one stone, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm just curious, I'm just curious what the overall event is, if there's any surprises, but at the moment, Resident Evil 4, that's what I care about, so yeah. Alright, I'm gonna start the event then here. Okay, we're six minutes in. Four... Two, one, or two minutes. Here we go, one minute. So how long is this overall event then? It's tw it's about 27 minutes long, okay. Here we go. It's gonna be 1 p.m. and this is gonna be blasting news all the way up to the freaking, uh... <sighs> it's gonna be annoying. It's gonna be very annoying. Can you hear me though? That's the most important part. Oh, we're starting right off. <coughs> Oh no, no, it's just a train for all of it, okay. Gradually we'll showcase out! Oh my, company. How on earth did you get in here? Is the Duke presenting oh, it? please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets, and priestesses. Interesting. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. Is that garlic? I no, deal sweet. in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. Is this going to be you an environment like in Shadows well of Rose? Of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. I like how they've done this. It's pretty clever. It's cool. Take a gander. World premiere. Winter's legacy lives on. You're damn right it does. At, le at least this means that we won't get the winters in RE9. Because that'll probably be focused on, birthday, Rose. on Chris. And that whole plot line that we got. The father's nightmare comes to an end, yeah. I just want to find my daughter. I'm curious how this is gonna look in uh ooh. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. It's pretty cool. 
I'm assuming they're going to show Ethan at the very end of that DLC now we've got all this place. Yeah. I'm sure that's what they're going to do. But that'll be the big twist in the final scene of space. Because that would be a good emotional way to end it. That's what I'm hoping for anyway. Because if they're not showing his face in the third person view, surely that means they're going to keep it for that. That character with the spike, it, lo it looks like something uh, uh, from the original Resident Evil 5 trailer. Like a giant mace. Try to imagine what he might have said to me. I bet that's Ethan there, right? No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. I hope they don't try and pull some Vitaly over the crowd. Anything happened to us. Ooh, I can't wait to play this. And that's that, yeah? I'm Kento Kinoshita, okay. the director of the Winter's Expansion. Director interview, Kento, okay, Kento Kino, Kinoshita. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. Why is Rose 16 years old? And in the end, you see how she's grown. So it's been 16 years. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. Interesting, so she's not 18, okay. You said you had something important to tell me? The realm of consciousness. She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. It's so also the cheap setting this time is the areas. realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. The word fear nightmare the is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll, or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your She's life. She's shrinking. This is leftovers from the original the REA, I think. To come from the kind because of original Leak said that when you're fighting Donna, you were supposed to shrink to down or hallucinate that you're tiny. It looks like they've taken that, they merged that together. We like wanted the, to the, choose the characters that would, would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. Yeah, I hate it. I hate it mercenaries mode in that, so maybe this will work better. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that are regular. It's a shame it's not a third person, though. I, I, don't, able to play I don't like, more I don't like the. So I, don't, I like. I like. I like. Characters. I like the first person view of the main game, I'm just being like the mercenaries mode, I wish it was it was uh, third person. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible was spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as it goes through your own eyes. Going to implement first and first so it can be incredibly game. scary to play a horror game from that, that perspective. Works. And I think it will. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. Mm. So we wanted to make a third person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. That's that's cool. Right. You can see the While there's still around. a sense of immersion and fear with a third person perspective, when the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. Oh my God. I think third person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? He gave that question some thought. 
So even in third person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. Yeah. The disrespect, man. Each of the I, three I, I editions approve, I, are interesting I in their own way, that, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Right. Thank 20 you. minutes left, okay. So after Ori4, after we're obviously going to show. Because what, this is going to take like 10 minutes, isn't it? We're going to get a new trailer, gameplay, maybe? Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third-person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third-person mode, or the previously existing first-person mode. Interesting. I don't really care. I mean, I've already, I've already played it, so I'll just wait for the release. I don't need to play the demo. Here we go. Are we cool? No, doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Ooh. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. This is Arivas. Let's have some fun, people. This is Arivas. Move out. It? Have they... Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Have they actually made it better to what it was before? We still got RE1 this. Ooh, RE6 Leon with two guns. We got Jack there. Interesting. Resident Evil RE Verse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. I don't care about this though. This game has crossplay. And you can fight players across all platforms. Interesting, okay. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Don't Here forget about this like they did with early access resistance. and updates. We'll be gone after a year. No one's going to give a crap. Also, Resident Evil Village will be playable on PlayStation VR 2. Okay, we got VR back. Hi, this is Akiyama from Sony Interactive Entertainment. Resident Evil Village VR mode, currently in development for PlayStation VR 2, will allow you to explore next-gen VR, making the ultimate immersive experience a reality. The VR okay. mode in the previous title, Resident Evil 7, was well received by the world thanks to its stunning horror experience. I don't care. And the VR mode in Resident Evil Village takes up the challenge to improve and enhance the same experience and bring it to the next level. Misa don't care. The first biggest improvement is the visual enhancements. The VR mode in Resident Evil Village will support 4K HDR, which allows natural designs to be displayed in the intended colors to showcase the beautiful and bizarre world of Village. About 70 minutes left. The intricacy of Village, shown in high resolution, made possible by the PlayStation 5, allows the users to take a closer look at the fine details of various objects and makes the game experience It makes sense to go with RE and uh, Village because that's the one coming out there now. There is also next, a significant next, improvement next, next week, in latency. Compared to Resident Evil 7 on PSVR, both latency and responsiveness have been improved. They're going to end the show with something we already have experience seen. As a whole. They're going to end it with a bang of RE4. Makes sense. The second biggest improvement is enhanced immersive sound experience provided by Tempest 3D Audio Technology. Village uses ambisonics and object audio for presence and powerful sound. Playing on PlayStation VR 2 allows the VR headset movement and audio to be more closely synchronized and dynamically changes the feel depending on the player position and head movement for so a more a immersive position, experience. That's announced. Interesting. Okay. 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 Interesting. Okay.
Another point of improvement is a more intuitive and realistic gaming experience using the PlayStation VR2 Sense controller. I'm hoping there's a Steelbook edition because I like to get those. Go with Ori AS. Only the mine, DualShock 4 was supported uh, in the previous title. Gold edition was coming but out. Village I know there's no Gold Edition the PlayStation for Ori 4 VR2 because Sense they've never released a allowing for more intuitive and for, flexible for controls, for making it feel almost as if you are really there. You think they would have? The Ori 3 definitely deserved one. Hell, Ori 2 deserved one. You know, proper there are so scenarios. many other elements in Village that get we couldn't those, share today. Please look forward to Resident Evil Village VR mode, which allows you to capture amazingly realistic experiences with your eyes, ears, and senses. I'm getting bored now. <laughs> How delightful. Such delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You want more? <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. Are you for? I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. I hope they reveal characters, man. I want to see if they go what they look like. Here we go. And again, oh, we actually get to see her. Dr. Salvador. Oh my god. I need to turn this off. Hello, everyone. Yeah. I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. Yeah. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. Oh god. First, Please enjoy this new gameplay footage. New gameplay footage. Again, I want to see it. I want to see a story trailer though. Too. No, screw it. Give me the gameplay footage. Okay. It looks good already. I like the atmosphere. I like the vibe. It's better than the original RE4 already. How far can you have gone? What is he talking about? He's gone far. Can you, is that automatic crotch or pity crotch in the actual game? The stealth, like Revelations 2. So it looks like you're doing a bit more of a hiking before you get before you get to the first house. Anyone home? They made the house bigger now. Look at that. So building up the suspense, the tension. You can kind of see they got a lot of cues from RE8 with that. Or maybe Leon's meant to be a contact here and they're dead. Hey. Is that one of the officers that's dead? Read you. What's your situation? <laughs> what the hell is going on? I like that it's not comedy at the moment. It's very serious and intense. Good. That's the vibe I want. What was that? Oh. Fuck oh, immediately we got into it. Oh, and he's missing his head. What the hell? Okay, they got they got the uh you know stab in it and we can just do it. You can use stealth! Oh my god, yes! Revelations 2 stealth is back, yes. Screw all the haters, I like this change. I like I like that, yes. <coughs> this for the lab one Bruce this is Gondor one Hunnigan here what's your sit rep the president's daughter baby eagle it's likely she's in this village Hunnigan looks our good. intel was correct then well done something's happened to the people here my escorts are gotta go talk later I like that. I like that change. It's automatic. Oh, 
Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this change. Oh, does he, does he? Yay, they got the binoculars. Yeah, look, there's the, there's the guard who's impelled there. Oh, they're burning him alive. We actually see that now. They got that in. They got the melee, yes! Oh look, they got the cows there. Cows are back. Oh, 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 he's gonna get, oh, he's gonna get the okay. That's kind of psychopathic, man, but you know. Is he gonna go in there and he's gonna close the door? Cutscene, Salvador? Yes, yes. Oh my god, look at that! Oh, he didn't show his face. Does he get the shotgun here? There's the shotgun, I think I saw it. I saw the shotgun, I saw it, it was fine. Oh, you think, oh, should be attacking with the rifle, look at that. It, they got a perfect recreation of the village spot here. It's exactly like the original in terms of the, of the layout, like, I think. Does he drop the tower? Oh no. Oh no, is he, are they gonna have it, oh, is the door in there? Can he show it? I love if you're able to counter it, like get the gun between the chainsaw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, is this an extra cutscene? What's going on? Is he gonna die? Oh, he's blocking the path. Interesting. He's the scary one, he's on the ground. Oh yes, 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 oh my god! You actually listened! Yes! Yes! What did you think? As you just saw, it's what I wanted. We are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas oh my and god, they actually graphics to strengthen that. I the core that. concepts of I the time. I wanted that so bad. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you played the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. I just thought the story expanded at that tool to the original. No fucking way. Swearing. The Nados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Oh my god. Leon fights back with firearms, oh my close god. combat maneuvers, Look, a I newly think the added parry using his knife. I like these changes, oh my god! Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Yes, I'm getting a bonus for this game. Just as okay, in the original, using the I'm attack shake case right effectively like, it's will be I'm key. This right now in itself. addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other craft. items. You can craft now, oh my god, yes. The Over here, stranger. I hate the voice. Of course, oh, sorry, we I can't the forget the merchant. Something new? You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. You can upgrade the knife now, that's cool. Does it actually show the upgrade? We've also that's added cool. a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Oh my god. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's what? release. What? We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available to play on PlayStation 4 in addition to PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the Deluxe Edition. This includes additional content, such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Next is the physical-only Collector's Edition. This edition includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. 
If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the attaché case gold and special charm handgun ammo. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm green I, I just herb. want a steelbook edition. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini I, I soundtrack. Get the you can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. Is it a trailer for is it a new trailer for Resident Evil 4 or is it something else? Outrage, outbreak, go Veronica. That's RA4. It's eight is separate ways. Ashley's separate ways. It's a new trailer, sorry, I'm an idiot. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? Lois! It looks awesome. Ashley, where are you? Is that a giant skull there? Ogi Gonto? Your soul requires cleansing. Oh, oh. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Ah! We're in the president's head. orders. What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm happy I'm like gonna get you home safe. Oh, it sounds serious. You can stop right there. Ada, who are you? What are you doing here? My thing. I can show her. Oh, get gone to look creepy. The entire world should look like all these grades. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Oh Leave my god, the that's the telephone. She's lost no matter what. Oh, they, they beat the dude. Now they beat the dude. Salazar. Oh, you gotta be kidding Don't me. Don't stop. Show me Jack Browser. <laughs> Oh, 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 does she, does she, does she use a gun? Does she actually use a gun? It's worse for this. Oh, you, you killed me with that. Did you enjoy the Resident Evil showcase? I loved it! Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Additional Orders. I can't believe it's and the new story like a, campaign, like, Shadows maybe of Rose. Maybe it's not confirmed yet, but it does look like it's got a cell oh, system. Oh, yes. Here. A demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget. The early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Enjoy the extreme feeling of immersion when you play Resident Evil Village on PlayStation VR 2. We will have more announcements coming at a later date. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023. And you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Is that it? Well, well. Looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. Uh, I hope they make that An odd chap, but his information's good. And I shouldn't say any more. Is that a hint? Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. I wish they'd hinted at future other games, you know what I mean? I really would have liked to know if we're getting anything else.
プレイステーションうざえあらいなつえうい Sorry, just, I just want to end that on a good way, on a good、uh, thumbnail, if you will. Oh man, this looks good. Oh man, oh man, oh my god. El Giganto looks creepy, look at that. Oh my god, we see my face is here, you can't see it, damn.、Um, oh my god. Well, yeah, this was a good event. I loved it. I can't wait for this game. I can't wait to pre order it. I'm probably going to pre order right now, just see what's up with it. I want to see, see the prices. I want to see if there's a Steelbook edition coming out or not, technically speaking. But、uh, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for this. I'm happy. It looks good. It looks good. It looks like they're taking it serious in terms of the tone. Great.、Uh, no jokey BS, because I don't want that, okay? If there's only one humor I want,、uh, I, I'd say I want、uh, the dialogue ways like your right hand comes off, and that's it. I don't care about the rest. Like, I want this to be a serious game. It looks serious. It looks very gothic and haunting with the way this looks so far.、Um, yeah, man. Oh, God. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the other characters look like unless they've been cut. In which case, oh, my God. Because we only, we only, saw, we saw, we only saw glimpses of the village and the, and the castle.、Um, no other confirmation about the other bosses uh, uh, in the castle area, for example. We didn't see Wolverine. We didn't see a、uh, freaking, uh, 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 you know, the xenomorph、uh, predator, <laughs> you know, Salazar's right hand,、uh, basically.、Um, I'm, I'm just curious, man. I'm curious if Jack,、uh, like, if Jack Krauser is going to be in this, if the island's going to be in this, if they've moved it about, if they change it, if they cut it. Like, I'm very curious. Like,、uh, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure leaks and stuff are slowly going to start coming up for this as we near the release date. But, ah,、oh, oh my God, well done. I just love the fact they got the freaking gun counter like blocking system in there. Like, that's something I always wanted. Like, and I, they, they did that. Oh my god, yes. And the fact I mentioned it just before they showed it. Like, what perfect timing. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, I hope you like that. I hope you like my reaction to that. As always, remember to like and subscribe, please. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to go on look at and see if I can pre order this right now. And、uh, if, if they ever still, if not, maybe, maybe I will buy the collector's box set. I don't know.、Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to, but I think with this game, I might make an exception.、Uh, you know, until, until we get it and we play it and we realize it's like, it's like five hours long and it's not like, a, it's not like the 20 hour version that we had.、Uh, I do hope they do fix the pacing. I don't want this to be a carbon copy remake of, of the original. This is a reimagining and I want it to be a good reimagining. I wasn't happy with, I wasn't really happy with RE2 or RE3's reimagining, especially RE3, which I think they just they, they dropped the ball on that hardcore style. But with this, I want this to be long, yes, but I want it to be good. Like, I've got a lot of beef with the original RE4. It's a good, it's a good action game. It's a good game by itself, but it's not a Resident Evil game. Like, like, in terms of like, certain things that they did with this. But I'm hoping that this will be more in tune, more related, more connected to the previous games and maybe future games as well in a better way. Like, like now that they know where the story's going and what's coming for, like, they'll, they'll be able to like, just sit and like, connect it like that, you know? But yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. It's night. I want to sleep.、Uh, and yeah,、uh, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.